What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking New, back at it again with another video for Fallout 76. Today, out of nowhere, we finally got the real Sheep Squash drop for us through a new in-game event. So we're going to be talking about that, as well as some of the items that this uh, this new enemy drops. Now, if you guys want to check out some other cool in-game items, make sure you head on over to U4GM. They got a lot of cool in-game items, so I'm going to be putting their link down in the description along with a coupon code that's going to be saving you 5%. So first, let me start off by saying, I mean, this isn't the first video out there. It's it's all over YouTube already, so I'm a little late to the game. Uh, but let me put this out there for you guys. If you guys are having trouble finding this event, because I was, a lot of people are doing it, and so it's kind of hard to hop onto a server where the event is live. I accidentally stumbled across a couple of sheep squash. So if you're having trouble finding the event... I'll show you exactly what I did. You might be able to repeat the process. I think it's kind of a bug. It's kind of, you're too early to tell. But hey, all we really want to do is kill some sheep squatch, right? So what worked for me is I traveled to the Southern Bell Motel. This is the same motel where you can find Boomer, the guy who gives you the daily quest that seldomly seems to spawn. And when I traveled there, uh, this is supposed to be one of the locations where the event can take place. Uh, you're going to see on your map a new farm icon. I'm assuming it's new. I've never discovered it before. I don't think it was here until today. Of course, it might have just been a location that I've missed. Either way, use that compass to find yourself, uh, find your way to that new farm location. Now, from what I understand, the event is supposed to trigger automatically, so there's nothing that you have to actually do to start the event. You just have to be on the server where the event is taking place. Here I managed to find these cows though. There's three cows, or was it two cows? Alias equals name lock equals Brahmin 01 and 02, something like that. So it seems like this was a quest that was supposed to start soon. It was kind of an awkward, uh, kind of a bug situation. And this is what I'm talking about. I explored a little bit to see if there was a way to manually trigger the event, but I didn't find anything. Uh, it's still early though, who knows what we can find. But as I was goofing off, I did end up stumbling across two uh, sheep squatch. And as you can see here, if you uh, like the, the event's not even triggered. So the whole point here, what I'm trying to say is if you can't find a server that has the event, well, maybe consider going to this location first and then doing your server hopping because you might find some sheep squatch without the event. The downside to this, of course, is you can kill them, but you're not going to get a, a completion for the event but at least you killed some pretty cool and ugly monsters here. The fight's not very difficult here. He will jump up and do like a little area damage. Uh, he'll shoot quills at you as well. He also throws something at you. I can't quite tell what it is. It looks like maybe a chunk of his hair or maybe some dung. I don't know. But he'll slap at you and eventually he'll even do like a little uh, charge like a headbutt towards you. Uh, but it's not a very difficult uh, fight. This is of course a level 80. It's a two star. Uh, I've only seen one stars after this. I don't know what it is, but lately I've only been seeing a lot of one star legendaries in game. I don't know what that's about. It's kind of lame. Nonetheless, you can see he does that little charge there. It's a very easy fight though. I am hoping that they add a more complicated cheap squatch in the game later on, like a substitute for the Scorch Beast Queen would be pretty cool. Or who knows, maybe we can like uh, nuke this area and see what that does for us. Nonetheless, if you're having trouble coming, uh, finding that event, just, just travel this way and see what you can find. I'm sure you'll find a monster or two. Nonetheless, eventually you're going to want to do it the right way by completing that event. That way you get the rewards for the event. So we're going to be looking for this guy right here called Free Range. From what I understand, it can either pop up either in the Savage Divide or the Mire, but it's not very hard to find. It's on the right side of the map pretty cool event i mean uh if you're probably doing this alone it's probably a bit boring all we're doing is hurting a few brahmin uh this time it looks like they actually have names so that's cool but it's also cool to see this many players in the community getting together to, uh, together to complete these events usually you know we're off doing our own thing but as you can see it just tells us to defend the brahmin every time a group of enemies pop up enemies have been pretty simple so far but all we're trying to do is get them to their destination, at which point that's when the sheep squats are going to pop up. And here you can see just how awesome the community can be in Fallout 76. This guy's waving us over to make sure that we all get a hit on that sheep squatch and get credit for it. Uh, but again, this is a one-star sheep squatch, and there's going to be a second one that pops up is also a one-star sheep squatch for me in this case. 
I've noticed this a lot, and I said it before. It just seems like there's a lot of one-star legendaries in the world nowadays. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to find three stars, at least in my experience. Let me know down in the comment if you're experiencing the same thing. Maybe it's just me, because, you know, my dad always said if it wasn't for bad luck, we'd have no luck at all. Of course, the problem with that is with all of these one stars, they're dropping a lot of legendaries that are seldomly worth being pick, uh, picked up. Uh, they do drop some other items, though. You can see this large sheep squatch horn and this uh, mysterious fur, which is cool because it, uh, if, you, uh, if you break it down, it's got ballistic fibers to it, which is an element or a junk item that I'm always running out of. It's used for repairing things like armor or even building under armor. So, so if, you're, uh, if you're finding yourself making those kind of repairs, make sure you pick up that mysterious fur. As far as the rewards go, you're going to get some typical event rewards like some stem packs and some purified water, but you're also going to get a plan for a shepherd's crook and a recipe for mutton meat pie. Now, so far at least, those are the, like you could just cook up the... Uh, man, I already forgot what it was called. You could cook up the sheep squatch mutton chops, which are going to give you plus 10 damage on melee, but if you do the mutton meat pie, it'll give you plus 15, so you know... Uh, I, I was expecting a little bit more, but I haven't found any other recipes out there. There might be some really amazing recipes out there that we can find. So you guys find any sheep squatch recipes, let us know down in the chats. That would be really awesome of you. And of course, that shepherd's crook is nothing particularly special. Uh, you can craft it under the weapons. It's going to be under the blunt options, and all it is is a melee weapon with a bell on it. So... Nothing amazing, but it's just something new and possibly fun if that's something you want to craft. Nonetheless, that's all I got for you so far. There might be some more cool stuff to discover, so I'm going to hop back in game. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. I do appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you all next time.